Narito ang programang totoong totoo. Tambayan sa DWIZ. Programang magliliwanag ng ilang mahalagang mga issue. Tambayan, tambayan sa DWIZ. At ngayon, narito na sila upang maghatid ng saya sa bawat Pilipino. Sa programang Tambaya sa DWIZ. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si uh, Atty. Ahmed uh, para sa Tambaya ngayong araw, October 31, 2022. Okay, uh, bukas ay undas na ngayon ang last day, Halloween mamayang gabi. Uh, 23 days, uh, 23 days, 24 days uh, before Christmas. Mm. Uh, si Uncle JP ay uh, siguro uh, ay nagsusumikap na ngayon makakonect. Uh, we understand na bumagyo nga kasi uh, past uh, whole day, yesterday, 55 days. 55 days, uh, not 25 days, 55 days before Christmas. Mm. At uh, sino nga yung may birthday ngayon? Si Dizon uh, uh, ba yung apelido? Rod. Ah, Rod Izon. Ah, Rod. Happy birthday sa'yo, ah, Rod Izon. Isang uh, anchor. Ang anchor. Dito sa ating uh, station. DWIZ 882. Okay? Happy birthday sa'yo, Rod. Ang uh, pansit ay si Atty. Nitriksi na lang ang nagsitsibog uh, ng aking uh, share kung uh, meron man. O spaghetti daw yata yung sinitiga kanina ni ano, Boss John at ito. Hmm. Hmm. Ang, prog- ang programa niya ni uh, Rod ay uh, pangkat kabukiran. Hmm. Pangkat kabukiran. Yan ba yung ano, yung uh, pangkat ng mga nasa kanayunan o mga magsaka? Ang uh, <laughs> wala naman siguro ng programa yung mga pangkat na nasa kanayunan no? o yung mga NPA. Oh, ay malamang kabukiran, bukid, ay uh, farmers ito. Oh, ito yung uh, programa na uh, ina-anchor ni uh, Brother uh, Rod. Is happy birthday sa'yo, Brother. <coughs> okay. Uh, ngayong araw, uh, ito ang unang araw pagkatapos ng Bagyong Paeng. Kamusta ba kayo dyan? Uh, sana uh, mabuti ang uh, inyong kalagayan. Walang uh, naanod. Walang na, natanggalan ng bubong. At uh, sana po ay uh, walang nasawi sa ating mga kakilala, kaibigan at kapamilya. No? At uh, doon sa mga uh, merong uh, Saktan, o so we ay uh, nakikiramay po kami sa inyo at uh, sana ay uh, matulungan na kaagad ang, uh, ang uh, pamilya ninyo sa pamamagitan ng ating uh, mga ahensya ng gobyerno. Okay? At saka, ano pa ba? Hmm, alright. Okay, so before we proceed, uh, marami ang uh, nagtatanong kung nasaan ang uh, Pangulo. <laughs> marami ang nagtatanong, maraming uh, oposisyon yata yung uh, tamang uh, phrasing doon no? na, nasaan ang Pangulo at marami din naman ang sumagot uh, nasaan ang angat buhay okay, but uh, well kidding aside we um, oh, I personally congratulate and uh, thank every agency of government and non-government uh, agencies na nagsumikap na makatulong okay, sa sa pag pag uh, pag rescue sa pag uh, alalay sa ating mga kababayan noong uh, noong uh, panahon ng bagyo ang paeng at uh, saka pagkatapos ng uh, bagyo ng paeng so ngayon yan uh, beginning uh, today and onwards ano ang sinasabi ay uh, itong si paeng ay papalabas pa lang ng uh, field area of responsibility ngayong gabi uh, so may buong araw pa siyang uh, tumatampay sa ating bansa kung hindi ako nagkamali okay uh, so, mabagal talaga itong bagyong to. <coughs> uh, nung uh, paggalaw nitong uh, bagyo na to. <coughs> uh, okay, so uh, uh, marami po ang uh, mga ahensya na tumulong at mga non-government organization At salamat sa inyong lahat. Ay, walang uh, minamaliit, wala tayong minamaliit o binapali walang tulong. Salamat tayo sa lahat ng yan na kahit na eh hirap at tayo namang lahat ang uh, dito sa uh, affected areas ng Pilipinas ay apektado ng bagyo ay meron pa rin nga uh, nagkukusang loob at nakakaroon ng uh, nakakahanap ng uh, kanilang generous uh, side 
Oh, na tumulong pa rin at uh, magna-sacrifice ng sarili nilang oras at uh, well, safety para tumulong sa kapwa. At uh, kagaya nga nung uh, on, the, on the side of the opposition, kagaya ng uh, example na pinapakita ng uh, director ng uh, Katips na si uh, what's his name, eh, salamat din sa iyo, brother. Uh, hindi, min- hindi natin minamaliit yung tulong ninyo. Kahit na uh, sa politika o sa ide- ideology ay magkakaiba, eh, ang tulong ay tulong. Kaya eh, walang winipili yan. Kagaya na walang winipili ang bagyo. Right. May tinatanong. Uh, may tinatanong. May tatatanong ko pala. Daw ang pwedeng doing action sa company na matagal na hindi nagbigay ng retention sa mga sub-company sub-com- din po nila. Hmm. Aha. Ito. Okay. Ah, ito ba ay uh, no, tungkol sa eh, condominium? Um, Kuya Wynette, ay paki-clarify nito dahil uh, kung uh, kung uh, pinag-uusapan natin ay isang condominium o isang uh, privately owned building na hindi condominium kasi marami po ang mga uh, patakaran na nag apply sa iba't ibang uh, uri ng uh, property na building. So, condominium may ibang uh, ahensya at batas at mga uh, rules and regulations na apply dyan. At uh, sa privately owned uh, buildings na just uh, given now to rent or for rental, eh, iba rin ang mapatakaran dyan. So, i-clarify natin at sasagutin natin yan before we end this program. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, <clears throat> salamat sa mga ano, tumulong uh, kahit na eh, hindi hindi kayo tayo magkakapare-pareho ng paniniwala sa pagdating ng political at saka sa ideological na uh, ano na uh, con- uh, pers- uh, persuasions eh pare-pareho tayo ng uh, adhikain na uh, makatulong sa uh, at salamat sa inyo. Uh, walang minamaliit o walang uh, binibida ang uh, tambayan uh, pagdating sa ganyang bagay. Okay? Ang uh, ang ating uh, ahensya at mga tauhan ng ating mga iba't ibang ahensya lalo na sa Coast Guard, sa uh, Air Force, sa uh, kung, kung, kung sa entire armed forces ay uh, maaga silang gumalaw. Uh, bago pa dumating ang bagyo ay nakapag-mobilize sila uh, meaning uh, there was a plan. Uh, there was a um, early plan to uh, to be ready okay, to uh, respond to uh, whatever is going to be the consequence of the uh, in the aftermath of the storm. So, ibig sabihin, may plan, no? Uh, hindi yung nabigla at hindi yung uh, sinawalang bahala lang ang uh, parating na bagyo. Sabihin na in-expect, in-anticipate, at accordingly, merong mga paghahanda na ginawa. So, uh, mahirap paniwalaan yung mga mga komentaryo sa uh, online, uh, sa social media, at saka sa broadcast na rin na walang nakukulangan o walang uh, aksyon o walang nakikitang paghahanda ng gobyerno. Uh, tungkol dito, that is uh, impossible to to uh, swallow. Okay, bakit? Kasi um, there are rules not only in the Constitution but also in uh, our uh, statutes, yung ating mga batas na ginawa ng Kongreso, kagaya ng uh, Civil Code pa lamang, and then the Local Government uh, Code, na merong uh, positive uh, duty ang local government at saka yung national government to, to be ready uh, whenever, uh, well, every every single day, but especially where there are uh, anticipated um, events like uh, this, like destructive or, or uh, uh, dangerous event, lalo na ng bagyo o lindol. Ang lindol kasi mahirap i-predict, pero yung bagyo, ma- mas uh, kaya na ng teknolohiya natin na i-predict. So, Mahirap paniwalaan 'yan at huwag kayo, huwag tayong maniwala sa mga hirit, sa mga sa mga um tawag pa nila diyan eh eh uh, ano ba 'yan? Kalimutan ko na yung tawag nila niya. Sa ta- sa karambola may tawag sila diyan eh. Eh whatever. <laughs> uh, basta yung mga komentaryo na hirit lang na uh, there, there is no basis, there is no factual basis for for saying it, pero ang sasabihin nila ay eh, nasa ng Pangulo, walang ginagawa, bakit nabigla? Uh, which is not true. Uh, you just have to read uh, the the reports on uh, 
on uh, the uh, Philippine uh, Information Agency sa ating uh, news uh, website ng gobyerno sa Office of the uh, Press Secretary at saka sa sa ano sa BILG page. Makikita mo na ang dami-daming uh, updates doon na ang ginagawa ng miyembro ng gobyerno. At the same time, pagka pina, pinabasa din natin sa mga website ng uh, uh, private sector, ay eh, meron din gumagawa. So, i- imposible na sabihin at magiging totoo itong sinasabi na ang uh, ahensya ng gobyerno at mga tauhan nito ay nabigla at walang walang uh, perceptible na uh, preparedness sa pag-respond dito sa paeng. Hindi totoo yan. Uh, that is uh, just completely uh, false. Okay? And anybody who says that, you already know that this person is either uh, lying to you or uh, just saying uh, some things uh, without thinking about it. Because if you really if you really stop and uh, thought about what you are saying, you you will realize that you're completely wrong. Uh, the government can be held responsible and liable and the officials of each, each agency that did not do anything can go to can be removed or even go to jail for uh, negligence. Okay? At kung uh, kung sasabihin natin may nagulat, ibig sabihin na is completely uh, taken by surprise, uh, prove it. Uh, before you uh, say things like uh, hindi handa ang uh, mga alihensya ng gobyerno, eh, kailangan meron kang uh, proeba dahil saying all of these things, baseless uh, allegations na ganito, ay nakaka-erode ng ating confidence sa ating gobyerno. Okay? At ang lahat ng citizens ng isang bansa ay in-expect na maging confident sa kanya sariling gobyerno. Kahit na eh, hindi yan ang binota mo, yan na yung gobyerno mga yan. You only vote for the officials, not the government. Okay? The government, once it is there, once the officials are there, That is your only government. There is no other government. If there is another government in your mind, you're a criminal. Okay, that's a that's a subversion of the existing uh, legal government. So, kung magpapalabas ka niya mga ganang salita before you put yourself in danger and being a uh, in being accused of uh, having an alternative government or pushing for a different government, then be careful about what you say. And not only that, uh, to avoid. Uh, personal uh, peril on yourself or danger on yourself risk of being uh, sued or being uh, uh, investigated eh pero ibahan niyo naman eh, wag yung puro salita pag, pag uh, kayo ang nasabihan fake news kagad eh reklamo kayo eh content kagad ninyo as a group and uh, cancel but when you are the one saying all of these falsities and lies there seems to be no search, there seems to be no uh, consequence so Uh, isa lang ang pwede kong i-suggest sa mga tao na, na, na nagsasalita ng ganito. Uh, be ready to stand up for what you say which uh, should be more than your freedom of expression and speech. Na pagka kinonfront ka, ay huwag mo i-block yung tao. Pagka sinabi nga saan yung proyeba mo, sagutin mo. Otherwise, take down your post. Take down your statement or, uh, uh, or uh, take back what you said. Kasi you are not only Uh, doing a uh, doing a, a, a bad feeling o uh, sinira mo yung araw na isang tao pagkapasa uh, ng uh, sinungalingan mo kung hindi, you are slowly eroding uh, the confidence of people on their own government and uh, you uh, and every one of us is expected and duty bound to, uh, to have confidence and uh, to uh, keep that confidence in ourselves in, in others like us as uh, citizens. Hindi pwedeng uh, kung ano disgruntled ka, be disgruntled by yourself. Because uh, all you can really prove if you are asked to prove your uh, statements is uh, why this government or this this administration is uh, disgruntling you. But you cannot possibly know everybody else's uh, mindset or uh, disgruntlements as to say na walang kwenta itong gobyerno na to o itong administrasyon na to. Uh, by the way, magkaiba ang gobyerno at ad- administrasyon. Ang gobyerno ay uh, isang konsepto na nag-attach sa, sa konstitusyon. It is an entity that is apart from the people that uh, are officials of that government. The government is uh, quite independent of whoever is the president or the vice president or the department heads. The government 
is a body of the constitutional uh, political ano, body politic called the Philippines, the Republic of the Philippines. The administration, however, is the government in relation to the leader. Okay? So that when we say government, that is the government of the Philippines. When we say administration, we say the administration of somebody of the government of the Philippines. Okay, So when we say uh, government, that is what we have, the only one government that we have right now. When we say administration, this is uh, the administration of uh, Corazon Aquino, the administration of uh, Dino Aquino, or Fidel uh, Ramos, or uh, Joseph Estrada. That is the government in relation to the leader. Okay? So the administration of a person, or especially the president. So when we say government, we refer to the government as it is in relation to the Constitution and its duties and responsibilities under the Constitution. When we talk about the administration, it usually uh, would uh, properly pertain to the government in relation to its owner or the leader and to those people who had confidence in that leader during the candidacy or the election. So parang pagka, parang maintindihan lang natin ang konsepto, although this is really a, a um, very, very um, a nitpicky kind of uh, discussion, pero kailangan natin maintindihan ang subtleties na to. Now, when we say government, and when we carelessly say criticize the government, you are actually criticizing not only the government of this president, but also the government of this country that does not change in every election. So only the administration changes and the administrators. The government doesn't change. It's still the same. Okay? Uh, it's still the same structure. It's still the same uh, system. And it's still the same uh, sovereignty. So when you criticize your government, be careful if you really mean the government or the administration or as mas safe pa, if you uh, particularly pertain to or, or refer to the official that you're trying to criticize. Because, again, the agency is an entity belonging to the Constitution. That is a, uh, an idea of abstract uh, ident uh, uh, identification of a concept. Okay, but the official there is a is the holder of the position or the office in relation to a person, the name. Okay, and uh, you cannot say that a DSWD, for example, sucks or did not do anything. Maybe what you meant is that you haven't heard anything from the leader of the DSWD. Okay, and that is two different things. So when we criticize, we uh, make sure that uh, our criticism is not also uh, itself uh, needs criticism or needs a uh, correction or com complete uh, uh, recantation. Because the uh, problem is once, once we see something, we already put it out there and it's very hard to uh, take it back. Okay? And uh, people can either just agree with you to the false things to say or uh, decry you for lying. And uh, there is no in-between. Uh, because it's already out there. At kung meron ka mga pagbawi niya, no, pag-clarify niya, uh, you have to wait for for that clarification to reach everyone who have so far read your statement or heard your statement. So, there is the danger of uh, so much talk of uh, fake news, false uh, uh, information out there, um, disinformation, misinformation, and all that stuff, when everyone is just really careless about what they say and uh, knowledgeable of what the hell they are using to say it. Okay? Uh, not everyone really is made for commenta commentary uh, on on broadcast on a uh, uh, podcast and uh, social media because uh, it needs some kind of mastery of uh, the words that you use to refer to stuff okay and uh yung mga journalists mga reporters and commentators of broadcast they have trained for those things okay and then they have a specific uh, vocabulary or jargon or whatever you say you call them na may specific meaning siya. At hindi yung administration government, you equate them to each other and just say stuff. Okay? Without uh, without concern for whatever the hell the meaning will be when it comes to the interpretation of the hearers, the readers. Okay? So, uh, kung akala nyo madali lang ang mag-comment, mahirap. Lalo na kung taong nag-iisip ka. Kung hindi ka nag-iisip, then you can just say whatever the hell you want. But remember that whatever the hell you want or you say is already out there and it's so, so very hard to take them back or to recant or to uh, clarify them once they're out there. 
So, uh, in order for us to keep the sanity of uh, our lives every day, kasi we, we cannot, it's inevitable, we are already all online, uh, all listening to all of these things and reading all of these things. Na, uh, iba, bawas, bawasan natin from, from ourselves na rin, from the very, very beginning, na hindi tayo nagkukos ng unnecessary na uh, fixation, no? na, na confusion o na agam-agam sa ating sariling pag-intindi ng mga bagay-bagay kasi fake yung ginamit na words or sinadya talaga nga mag-mislead. Because when it uh, all comes down the, the wire, comes to the wire, pag tinanong ka, kung meron kang proof dyan sa sinasabi mo, are you ready with the proof? Okay? And uh, care must be had <coughs> When saying something about uh, the social uh, <coughs> situation or the, go- the government uh, uh, situation or uh, actions of certain things, eh, handa ka. Dahil pagka ikaw ay kinumpunta at sineryoso, sasabihin mo, kaninneryoso ka naman eh. Diba totoo mo naman eh. But what you're saying is already out there and the people are already taking it as true. So uh, when you're confronted and asked for your proof, you should be ready with it. Otherwise, something should come to you. I mean, you know, some kind of uh, 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 consequence should come to you because you may not be, uh, you may not have been uh, malicious about what you said, but you're just completely wrong about it. And sometimes, you know, being completely wrong about it because you're stupid or you did not prepare for what the hell you say and in consequence, then you shouldn't be saying those things. Diba? So, uh, marami tayong mga ganyan online na, uh, na basically kung tutumbukin mo, ay sinisira lang talaga ang gobyerno. That's not good. That's wrong. Okay? Your obligation as a citizen is to keep confidence in the government and keep the confidence of all others in this government. Okay? If you don't like the administration and the administrator, then don't. But you have to keep the faith and you have the obligation to keep that in others as well. Kung hindi mo magawa yan, do not say anything. Because your freedom of speech and expression will not defend you. It will not defend you. Alright? You may not be going to jail, but it's something has to be a consequence for you. Because that's wrong. To erode the trust and confidence of the Filipino people and their own government on just some such flimsy allegations without proof is uh, bad. It's wrong. It's unconstitutional. It's undemocratic and un-Filipino. And you should always remember that. Not only at times of uh, of peril or or, or danger or uh, calamities, but every single day. Okay? Mahirap gawin yan dahil pagka ito ay nagkagera na ka-civil war, God forbid. Sino ang mahirap? Anakala mo kung ikaw naninira sa gobyerno, walang hirap sa yung darating sa'yo pag nagkagulo-gulo ang gobyerno. Meron din. And uh, you will not be happy when that entire consequence comes down on your own family. Okay? Uh, when this government goes down and chaos ensues, you and your own family will suffer the consequences as well as everybody else here. Okay? So, don't be so stupid as just to say stuff that will erode the confidence of the people and their own government. All right. So, uh, with that, uh, we, let's end the first half of this program with the uh, marshals or whatever Kuya uh, Winner will put on in there. And we will be back after the uh, uh, reminders. Muli nating balikan, tambayan sa DWIC. Nagbabalik po ang tambayan. Ito po si Atty. Ahmed. At uh, uh, tayo ay uh, nag-discuss tungkol sa uh, ating uh, responsibilidad sa uh, gyerno at sa ating konstitusyon tungkol sa confidence ng uh, citizens, citizenry on uh, their own government. But that's on first half. Second half, let's answer the question here. Uh, although uh, medyo limitado ang uh, facts natin dito, pero ang tinatanong eh, ano daw ba ang uh, gagawin sa isang company, meaning the main contractor of a construction uh, contract, okay? uh, kung uh, matagal na daw na turnover kung uh, construction uh, project doon sa owner, okay? ang may-ari o yung uh, employer o yung nag-responsible uh, sa pagpapatayo ng building na yan o yung financer, eh, <clears throat> Eh, hindi pa rin uh, na-turn over na at hindi pa rin nagba- binabalik yung retention oil. Hindi pa rin nire-release yung retention money or amount doon sa mga subcontractors. Okay, let's clarify what's going on here. 
Ang isang uh, construction na uh, uh, project, halimbawa sa pagpapatayo ng isang building na private, okay, private ito, uh, huwag na muna natin isali yung uh, government projects. Uh, may uh, project, may mga contractor yan uh, mag-bid at o mag-qualify. Mag, uh, at kung sino napili, yan yung magiging main contractor. Siya ngayon yung uh, contractor na tinatawag at ang uh, yung nag finance niya o ang nag uh, nagpapagawa niya ng tawag dyan ay either employer or uh, owner or uh, <coughs> principal. Okay? So the owner is the one funding the project and wants the project. Uh, the contractor is the one principally uh, involved with the construction of that project for and in behalf of the owner. Kasi hindi naman construction na uh, kung ang may-ari at nagpapagawa ng building ay hindi din construction businessman, then eh, papagawa niya sa iba and therefore may contractor. At uh, usually, ang mga contractor naman sa bawat project ay hindi rin yan sila uh, jack of all trades na alam ang gagawin sa lahat-lahat ng uh, kailangang work sa isang construction. Merong electricity, merong uh, uh, plumbing, merong uh, <coughs> interior, interior design and all that stuff. Diba? So, iba-iba ang may mga expertise dyan. And therefore, there is a necessity na mag-subcontract ang isang contractor, uh, construction contractor. Okay, at yung mga kon- subcontractor ngayon ay sila yung mga gagawa ng specific, special uh, parts of uh, the construction contract na sila yung may expertise, kagaya ng plumbing, kagaya ng electricity, uh, solution ng uh, power uh, lines dyan, uh, para makailaw and all that, and such other things, di ba? Kasi hindi naman uh, natin may expect na ang electrician, na uh, electrician subcontractor, alam kung... Uh, paano uh, idadaan yung mga tubig o yung mga drainage ng mga banyo and all that. So there are uh, specialties there. Ngayon, uh, sa kontrata na yan, on the level of the contractor to the subcontractors, uh, yung mga individual contracts with those subcontractors are subject to a retention uh, amount, meaning yung contract fee okay, or amount doon sa subcontract na yun, halimbawa ay palagay natin isang daan, pesos. Uh, may down payment yan, about uh, 25% or whatever, na napag-agrihan nila, ida down, ipibigay sa kanya, and then merong uh, milestone <coughs> uh, periods na kung saan uh, may dagdag na bayad para magpuo yung contract amount. Uh, depending on the milestone milestones uh, specified in that contract kung kailan kung kasi may paparatandaan pag natapos nyo na itong uh, poste na to ay may bayad uli yung uh, sa contract sa contractor at natatapos nyo na itong ding-ding ay nabubong ganyan and subcontractor siya ganun din pagka sa plumbing pagka nalagyan nyo na ng uh, main uh, lines ng uh, tubo yan whatever they call it eh merong uh, milestone dyan may bayad yan at ang pinakahuling uh, part dyan of that is about uh, 5% Uh, in in practice, okay, sa Pilipinas, ay tinatawag na rest- retention amount. Ang retention amount ay parte ng uh, contract or subcontract uh, fee, okay, ng the entire uh, contract amount na kinahold back ng uh, contractor until, until, okay, uh, the uh, specific period has elapsed o na napaso na yung panahon within which guarantees okay ng uh, subcontractor na yan are inspected and sh- ensured na wala wala silang binayolate ng kanilang warranties kasi ang bawat con- con- construction na company or subcontractor ay uh, merong mga warranties ang warranty sibig sabihin na pagka natapos na yung trabaho at uh, uh, na turn over na yan merong isang specific period na binibigay ng ating uh, batas na within which to evaluate the the uh, uh, works done okay kung uh, yan ba ay sumunod sa standards ng materials ginawa ba yan in a <coughs> workmanly uh, manner ibig sabihin um sinunod ba yung uh, best safety practices uh, ano meron ba yan silang mga uh, hard hat diyan and stuff like that and then finally kung wala mga hidden defects diyan Okay, so that is those are wa- just a few of the warranties yung garant ginagarantiya ng subcontractor doon sa contractor na sigurado na uh, walang mga hidden defects diyan na ang standards ng materials diyan ay <coughs> ay uh, uh, are standard as uh, as uh, 
as uh, according to the uh, to the rules and regulations issued by a government agency. Okay, and uh, also that uh, that uh, the workmanship done there and the, the safety of the people who did those things uh, was were observed. Na yung rules don. And uh, usually, uh, yung uh, period na yan ay uh, usually isang taon yan after the turnover of the uh, um, property, yung uh, building, doon sa uh, owner. Okay? <clears throat> so, ang contractor din kasi meron din yun siya sa sariling uh, warranty period doon sa owner. Ang uh, subcontractors meron din warranty period doon sa contractor, sa main contractor. At uh, depende po yan sa Um, stipulation, ibig sabihin sa napagkasunduan uh, sa kontrata. Kung ang kontrata ay merong specific uh, time period, example, two years, three years, five years, or ganyan, eh, yun ang susundin. Kung wala naman, ang default ay 100, uh, one year. One year ang uh, yung tawag na flex liability period. Okay? Nang uh, sa contractor to the main contractor and, uh, and uh, in turn, the contractor to the uh, owner. Pero yung mga subcontractors, wala yan silang pakialam sa warranty period ng contractor doon sa owner. Ang kanila lang, yung kontrata na with the main contractor. Ngayon, kung walang nakasulat sa kontrata na, na na specific period like two years or three years or whatever, ay ang default setting kapag walang agreement ay isang taon. Okay? Pagka natapos na yung subcontractor sa kanyang ginagawa at kinurn over na niya yung uh, completion ng complete work, doon sa contractor, meron siyang isang taon okay, na uh, hihintayin para ma-evaluate ng contractor yung kanyang gawa. Meron mga identifets dyan, kung mga materials with a substandard, o yung mga ang paggawa pa dyan ay hazard and dangerous and all that stuff. Did not uh, comply with the regulations of uh, the government agency concerned. So, eh, meron nga uh, obligasyon ang uh, contractor to uh, review and assess and uh, evaluate those uh, staff, specific subcontracted staff. Pagka uh, lumipas na yung panahon na yun, <clears throat> ay uh, ang contractor naman ang magsasubmit ng turnover niya dun sa owner. Okay? At wala na dapat pakialam mga subcontractor dyan kung gaano katagal ng five years yan. Kung dito naman sa kanila ay isang taon lang o two years kung mayroong uh, agreed uh, period, hindi na dapat hinihintayan ng turnover ng contractor doon sa owner. Kasi yung uh, retention period ng subcontractor only has something to do with the, con- with the main contractor and nothing to do with the owner. Kasi ang kontrata niya ay nandun lang with the contractor, not with the owner. So, uh, extraneous yung kontrata ng contractor, ng main contractor doon sa building owner. Kung meron siyang retention period doon ng two years, wala kaming pakialam dyan kung uh, subcontractor lang ako. Dito lang ako sa sa, sa contract uh, sa main contractor at sa sa akin. Kung ang agreement namin ay more than one year as uh, explicitly written in our contract, then uh, that is uh, how long I have to wait. Pero kung wala man uh, wala namang uh, stipulation yun as to the period, the, the default setting will be one year. And after one year, kung walang makita yung contractor na defects o na violations ng compliance dun sa Uh, warranties, then dapat i-release na yung retention amount sa akin. Okay. Ngayon, kung halimbawa, <coughs> lampas na ng either na pag-agrihan yung period o one-year period uh, if it was not agreed upon, then uh, anong gagawin ng mga subcontractor? Ang unang gagawin, ititignan nyo ulit yung kontrak- kontrata ninyo with the main contractor, with the primary uh, contractor. Kung ang may nakasulat doon, na merong uh, warranty period, then yun ang susundin. At kung lumampas na nga dyan sa warranty period na yan, or one year, uh, kung hindi na pag-agrihan, ay uh, anong gagawin? Titignan ulit ang kontrata, titignan kung merong uh, agreement on how to go about uh, with this kind of uh, dispute. Okay? So kung lumampas na, anong gagawin? Kung may nakasulat dyan na kailangan magkaroon ng arbitration at meron ng inassign na isang body of or of uh, private uh, body na mag-arbitrate uh, sa dispute na yan, sa pag-release ng retention, eh, doon mo dadalhin yan. Kung wala na mga uh, stipulation sa kontrata ninyo, sa, sa subcontract ninyo, kung saan dadalhin yan, ay pupunta ho kayo sa CIEC. Ano yung CIEC? Eh, di ko lang. <laughs> di alam natin yan. Ang uh, CIEC ay isang ahensya ng government na 
<coughs> uh, siyang nagre-regulate itong mga ganitong works. Okay, ang tawag dyan ay Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. Okay, that is a, that's a government agency. Okay, under the DTI, I think. Yes, DTI. Um, at pagka may stipulation doon sa subcontract na nagsasabing merong iba tayong body na pupuntahan muna bago ito uh, dalhin sa korte itong dispute natin. Uh, specifically itong release ng retention of loan. Kung dinala mo yan agad-agad sa korte, ay may depends sa kagad ang main contractor mo na hindi pa to ano, hindi pa to uh, premature itong ginagawa mo, dapat pumunta ka muna sa CIAC. Kung uh, walang agreed uh, uh, kung merong agreed upon na uh, um, stipulation there or doon sa whatever arbitration body that you agreed on there. So automatic yan dadalhin doon sa CIAC. Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. Doon niya yan irereklamo. Okay? <clears throat> At kung meron ng arbitration, eh, di, eh puntahan niya nakakad yung uh, specific na inassign o pinag-agrihan niya sa kontrata kung sino yung mag-arbitrate niyan. Okay? Uh, kung wala nga nakasulat na arbitrator, doon pa rin kayo pupunta sa DTI. At doon kayo magsusumbong na wala naman kaming uh, nakikita nga uh, arbitration body na ano na set up na diyan so sumbong niyo doon at sila ngayon ang uh, magsasabi ko nga uh, anong gagawin niyo diyan kasi hindi niyo yan pwedeng uh, dalhin kagad sa korte kasi merong specific uh, administrative body na ginawa na ang batas diyan para hindi na mapuno yung korte natin sa mga collection cases ng mga ganitong kaso ng amount dito sa mga mga tawasan mga tawasan kasi usually maliit na lang yung retention retention hindi naman ganun kalaki yan So, uh, para hindi na gumulo ang korte, dumami ang kaso dyan dahil kailangan matapusin at especially yung may mga kaso na may uh, kulang parusang kulong na hindi makakulong ng mga matagal yung mga kusado dyan dahil nakuno yung korte ng iba't ibang kaso ng koleksyon ng pera. Kaya merong administrative arbitration uh, agency na nagsasabing, pwede kayong magpa-arbitrate. Ang arbitration ay isang pinatawag na alternative dispute resolution na ginawa ng ating batas. Okay, na para nga is facilitate yung itong mga disputes na doon, hindi na kailangan dalit sa korte. And any, in any case, dali niyan sa CIAC at doon yan ililitis, no? ay hingi ng, uh, ng uh, proof kung uh, natapos niyo na nga ba yung trabaho, na turn over niyo ba properly yan, na uh, you comply or uh, violate the warranties, at kung tapos na ba yung warrant period. Kung tapos na natin na uh, mag-order na ng resolution yung arbitration, na uh, mabayaran niyo na yan. Otherwise, eh, kayo ayusin nyo dahil meron pa kayong warranty na uh, hindi pa na ako-comply with. Okay, at uh, yan ay uh, pwedeng i-appel na sa court sa court of appeals kung uh, hindi pa rin kayo uh, satisfied sa decision. Otherwise, yung arbitration na yan ay uh, as good as a uh, law between the parties. Okay? Ang decision yan. So, uh, it's binding and good as law. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> already uh, demandable as a uh, as a um, as an obligation. Okay, so pwede niyo nang uh, pag mayroon ng resolution ng CAC, pwede niyo nang i-demand. Ah, uh, i-demand pala na demand, i-demand sa contractor na bayaran niyo na kami kung hindi kayo magawa, now we can go to court for uh, for uh, not uh, trying with the with the order of the CAC or the arbitration body kung may napagkasunduan uh, kayo ng ganyan. Yun po ang una ninyong gagawin. Okay? Uh, hindi ko yung uh, pupunta sa Facebook at mag uh, ngaw doon at magreklamo kung bakit ka nagbabayad. Because sometimes, eh, meron din ang mga problems ang contractor na hindi natin alam. Na magsasalita na kaagad tayo sa uh, online or wherever, or full for wherever, uh, which would tend to uh, <clears throat> um, uh, impose or ano or uh, mabahida ng uh, uh, negative uh, implications doon sa kontrakto. So, bago natin gawin yan, is sumunod tayo sa batas at sundin natin ang kontrata, which is considered as the law between the parties. And uh, kung walang sinasabi doon or nag-violate na doon, then let's go to the CIAC. Okay? Pa, sundin natin yung batas bago tayo magsalita para hindi tayo makasira ng reputasyon ng yung tao o ng kumpanya na dahil lamang hindi natin alam. Yun nga eh, we have the obligation to keep the confidence on the integrity of our contracts and our contractors. Kasi pagka nakawalaan na tayo ng confidence on each other, wala nang mangyayari sa mga kontrata na sa bansang ito. And the same is true with our government. 
and administration and all that stuff. So again, with 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 uh, it come when it comes to relationships, either between contractors and subcontractors or the government and the, its own citizens, the country and its own citizens, confidence is needed. Confidence on each other, and uh, and the obligation to keep that confidence is uh, foremost. It's paramount. It's important in the continuous uh, existence of that relationship or that contract. Okay. Remember that our uh, allegiance to our uh, state or our country and our allegiance to our con- party, our uh, partner partner in a contract, should essentially be the same, which is uh, I trust you and therefore I enter into a contract with you. I trust you and therefore I am your citizen. And the country trusts you and therefore uh, you are its citizen. And uh, it will serve you. It will help you with your life in the country. Uh, Ganoon din sa lahat ng bagay na kung saan merong ibang partido uh, aside from ourselves na mayroon tayong relasyon. Now, we keep the confidence. Okay? We keep the faith. Kasi uh, uh, kawala yan, wala nang saysay ang lahat ng kontrata at magkakagulo na tayong lahat. Democracy will suffer and uh, uh, um, civilization uh, in itself will uh, go down and crumble and then we go into chaos and anarchy. Uh, I know you don't like that, but I do. But, you know, I don't want that to happen to everyone else. And therefore, right, na anarchist, communist ako, I, I do not want that to happen to us. Not uh, at this time. Kasi meron pa maraming solusyon na ino-offer ang ating batas. Uh, before we resort to chaos and anarchy, we have to keep uh, pursuing uh, what is legal and what is already there set up for our good, for our... Uh, complaints and uh, ano disgruntlements na maaayos natin in 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 uh, the methods which is civilized and legal and, uh, and just okay hindi gagawin yung mga sisirain natin yung confidence ng not only the parties to a contract but also others who might in the future enter into a contract with a company masisira na eh and go for for what for your ignorance somebody will pay a uh, uh, really huge value for your own ignorance. And uh, do you feel happy about that? That uh, you, you uh, make the people uh, distrust their own uh, partner in a contract or distrust their own country and their own administration and government for your, uh, for, for, for your ignorance or your stupidity or your carelessness or your uh, egotism. Makasarili ka lang talaga, kaya gusto mong manira, magdaradal na yan, never mind na nakapanira ka na napala na ng dahilan. Okay? And uh, that's selfishness and egotistical and uh, there should be a, a consequence for that uh, coming for you. And if you don't do that, uh, then uh, good for you and you're serving the democracy of this country and uh, in the trust of the people in their own government, their own administration and their own democracy. Okay, uh, you start saying all of these things, eroding the confidence in in their own contracts, in their own administration, and their own government, will uh, eventually uh, erode trust of the people in democracy. And uh, after that, good luck to you. Okay, uh, if you think that uh, it makes you feel happy, maninira sa mga gobyerno at sa mga kakontrata mo, wait until chaos ensues and what will happen to you and your family. Because it will be hard for everyone, not only to those who are not in agreement with their own principles. Okay, so uh, that is my message for you today. Uh, Tambayan, um, October 31, 2022. At uh, ang po ng programa natin ay ang uh, Pilipinas uh, ngayon with you, Sec. Robert Rivera and Miss Lady Eliza. At uh, sana po ay uh, magkaroon kayo ng uh, safe na undas. Uh, Halloween ngayong gabi at uh, undas, magturo kayo ng kanila sa labas ng bigtoon nyo. At maraming salamat po sa pagkikinig at manonood ng tambayan ngayong araw. Ito sa atin niya. Amat po kaya. Top salamat and uh, good day. Tambayan sa DWIZ.